We thank you for the gift of faith in their lives. We thank you for the gift of knowledge. You have empowered them both in faith and also both in knowledge to go forth and to bear fruit. May you go with them. May you protect them. And may their teaching practice be fruitful to the glory of the men and to the salvation of souls. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As Robert Pollack said that, the seasons come and go, and go and come in order to teach us gratitude. So gratitude is the attitude that makes the ordinary into the special or extraordinary. I will have to agree. Thank the promoters for their devotedness to accomplish the task and trusted to them. It was done in spite of full of time responsibility of each of them in their various ministries. Brother Mark and your team and those who took over them have been formed us in the right way, both spiritual and informative, nourishing us academically and morally. I will also thank you, brothers, for going the extra miles in order to make sure that you satisfy us by providing for us all that we needed to become what we are today. Dear General Administration members, in the names of Brother Ken and Oscar, who have and we always put in their best to see that we excel in our formation life. You all have sacrificed everything in your power to ensure that all of us pass through this place and become responsible people. I pray that the good Lord will bless all your efforts with success. Our gratitude goes to the entire DSI members. We appreciate the support and the encouragement you offered to us. You were always available and ready to listen to us. When we think back, your life spoke much more to us than your words. You were not only our spiritual directors, but our companions in a journey to encounter with God and excel in our academic non-members of MIC. I am not forgotten for their hard work and support have contributed greatly to our success. Secondly, we would like to ask for forgiveness for all the times we have offended you, challenged you, or made you feel depressed or upset. Sure. We have been sometimes unrespectful to you, but you have endured and carried all these burdens on your shoulders by prayers. We ask for sorry for the bad times. Thank you also for times you received us as we are. To my fellow brothers, going in teaching practice, then we depart to our various administrative units. 
It has not been an easy task for us, but we all thank God for the marvelous work He has done in our lives. He has continued to give us the gift of life from the day of our interest into this center to this day. We all know that today has marked the last Sunday of our stay in this center. But we have to know that our journey has just begun. As we have lived a good life in this noble center, and our formators have inculcated and instilled in us the life of humility, modesty, and simplicity. I will advise all of us not to let go all their teachings. For humility is the foundation of all virtues. Once our founder, St. Marcelin Champagne, addressed these words to Brother Jean Marie Godet One does not need to be genius to do God's wondrous mission, but a great devotedness, strong virtue, piety, and a total confidence in God. As we go out, let us remember that today society wants people who are solid and convictions in their belief. To our fellow brothers behind, be smart. <laughs> it is not wearing expensive clothes and perfumes or dressing elegantly. It is knowing your strength and weaknesses, ability to handle circumstances, events, and problems, ability to know when and how to deal with issues. Remember that strong minds discuss ideas, average minds discuss events, and weak minds discuss people. <laughs> Again, we know that the Gospel of St. Matthew always challenges us a grain of wheat to produce has to die. So let go and embrace your formation. I also thank all our formators that have put in their best to see that we are alive to this stage and they have prepared us for the challenges we are going to the world to meet. We pray that the good road will reward all their efforts abundantly. Amen. I also thank all the assembly, friends, companions that have gathered here today to worship with us. I conclude by saying thank you on the behalf of the 2018 said brothers. We are his people and hallelujah is our song. May God bless each of us richly. invite brother Peter Gege.
Sigo.